Hi Tackle Insiders, thanks for tuning in to our latest video. Today we will be showing you how the ASL Atom Head Array can be used as an adaptive switch to control your iPad. The Atom is the box located at the back of the Head Array. This wireless transmitter connects to Tecla and other communication devices. Right now it is set up running on battery but can be mounted and used with a power wheelchair battery instead. Here you can see the different elements of the device, the power button and the user port. The user port is where we have our switch connected that we will be using. As you can see, when different pads of the head array are activated, a corresponding light reflects a decision on the atom. Users can go left, right, or move their head back. Also, it is important to note the tiny pinhole located beside these lights as it works as the pairing button. We will use this pinhole to connect the head array with Tecla. At the moment, we only have the power on. That is why the light is a solid red. In order to put it in pairing mode, we need to press and hold the switch connected to the user port. Because it is not currently paired to anything, it will start to blink. So we press and hold. Now we will put the Tecla in pairing mode. We do this by pressing and holding down. The light will go orange, but since the device was in pairing, now the atom is a solid red because it is paired with Tecla. Please note that the pairing mode on Tecla takes around 30 seconds. It will make a noise and turn blue once it has finished connecting. Since we are already connected with the iPad, we will now assign the switches of the head array different capabilities with our device. Click Add New Switch, External Switch, then press the switch you would like to program and name it accordingly. For the left side, we will just name it Left. and select the setting, move to previous item. Next, we will assign other sections of the head array. For the right, we will assign it to move next item with the name right. Finally, we will program the back head pad, naming it forward. We will use it to select items, but when it is long pressed, it will be the switch to go to the device homepage as well. Great job, Tecla Insider. Now, all you have to do is turn your switch control on and you'll be able to control your device. But what about the switch located at the front of my head array? Well, when you press your switch at the front of your head array, you can switch wheelchair modes. For example, you can go from wheelchair driving mode to technology control. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe below for more Tecla tutorials.